Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss how to run logistic regression analysis using Smart PLS 4. So logistic regression is a tool for classifying and making predictions between 0 and 1. Logistic regression is used in classification problems like retention, conversion, likelihood to purchase. Independent variables can be cat continuous or categorical, but the dependent variable is a categorical in nature or a binary. The examples are a company, catalog company wants to increase the proportion of males that result in sins. A doctor wants to accurately diagnose a possibly cancerous tumor. A loan officer wants to know whether the next customer is likely to default or not. And a product or a company wants to know that our product will be purchased by the company or not. Now, to understand logistic regression, first of all, we will see the data file. For this, we will go in SPSS. The target variable is X4 region. If I activate this, you can see 0 is North America and 1 is outside the North America. So 0 uh, USA North America and 1 is outside the North America. Remember one thing, your entire interpretation in logistic regression depends on what you are coding as 1. So I want to see that the complaints which are coming, the complaints which company is getting, are they different from those which are in the America and outside the America or not? So we are having some problems in distribution system, product quality, e-commerce, technical support, complaint resolution. So there are X5 to X18 issues are there. And we want to map them that is there any difference or rather is there any pattern for those complaints which are in North America and outside the North America? So now we will go in Smart PLS. I'll click on New Project Logistic. Create Import Data File. I'll select the same file. Open. So this is X4 is a target variable, X, X5 to X18 are the problems. Import. So it will generate the basic descriptive statistics. I'll press the back button. Now I'll go and create the model. Make sure this time you select regression and I'll give the name logistic regression. Save. So first of all, you can see that X4, which is our target variable, the software has identified that it is binary, 0, 1. In case of logistic regression, always our dependent variable will be categorical. So now I will load X5 to X18 and I'll drop it in this box. Now I'll go here and calculate logistic regression. Start the calculation. Open report. Click on coefficients. Now you will have to see the p values of all these variables. Those variables which are having the p value less than 0 0.05 are quite significant. Those variables which are having p value more than 0 0.05 are not significant. So you can see here x6 and x7, their p values are less than 0 0.05, which is indicated by green color moreover 12 and 30 are also having p value less than 0 0.05 so 6 7 12 and 30 if i click on prediction and probabilities so what is a probability for the first case second case so 0 0.966 it means that what was coded as one so the first case is one here the probability is 0 0.008 means it is zero now click on predicted values. So these are the predicted values according to the algorithm. We will have to compare the predicted values with the original raw data. No need to worry. Smart PLS generates a confusion matrix. You can see here X4 original data 0 and predicted value according to the algorithm. So X4 0 and predicted 0. So 77 cases are such where raw data was correctly predicted by the algorithm. Okay, if I talk about x4 equal to 1 and predicted value 1, 
So 102 cases are such where the algorithm has correctly predicted the raw data. So 77 plus 102 is a correct classification. So 77 plus 102 divided by the total data, which is 77 plus 102 plus 4 plus 17. So I again repeat 77 plus 102 divided by total data. The summation of the total data will give me the classification accuracy. Now, if I talk about this form, the original raw data is zero, but the predicted value is one. So there are four such misclassified cases. If I talk about this one, original data is one and the algorithm predicted zero. So 17 are such cases which are my, my misclassified. So the total misclassification is 17 plus four, 21 misclassified cases. You can see the fit summary normally. Your Akai K information criterion should drop from null model to estimated model. AIC should decrease and it is decreasing quite good. The Cox sense null R square, Nagelker R square, and McFadden's R square. See, in case of logistic regression, we don't have the R square because we have changed the basic functional form of the linear regression. And therefore, we are using the pseudo R square here. The interpretation remains same. It should be ideally nearer to one. So as they are nearer to one, we can say that the model is a good model. Now, what we will have to do is again, we will go in the graphical, uh, we will go in coefficients and we will remove all those variables which are insignificant. So you can see here six, seven, 12 and 13 are retained. All others are removed. So it is better that I remove all of them and load everything again. So now I will only pick up. So now I will only pick up. First, let us drop X4 here. So X4 is there. Now X6, X7, X12, X13. I'll drop it here. Quickly, I'll open the report and see the coefficients. All of them are less than 0 0.05, quite good. Let us see the predictions and probability and in that we will see the confusion matrix. Here, the classification accuracy is also quite good. So 83% classification accuracy is there. Let us see the fit summary. A KIK information is dropping quite good. Bayesian information criterion is dropping quite good. And Nagelker R square is above 0 0.6. That is also quite good. Now, what is the equation which has been formed? So for this, I'll go in coefficients and I'll try to pick up these values. So I'll copy this to Excel. Let me increase the value. So the equation which, which is formed is log P upon one minus P is equal to, now we'll write the intercept minus 2.90. Here the intercept is insignificant because the P value is more than 0 0.05, but for our learning purpose, we are writing it. So minus 2.901 is the intercept, that is a constant, plus, or rather I'll, it, it's just a big take and minus only. So minus 1.105, see the unstandardized coefficient, 105, x6, that is into x6, minus 1.611, x7, plus, 1.035 x13 plus 2.182 x12. Now, when you will insert the values of x6, x7, x13, and x12 in this log, you will get the probabilities. Now, this is the logistic regression function log p to the 1 minus p if you convert it and when you will get the 
when you will calculate the p it is a probability which you will get for each and every case these probabilities are directly reported here for each and every case so this is the way the logistic regression works so for more videos on smart pls kindly subscribe to my channel you can see my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos of Smart PLS. Don't forget to press the like button. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.